Well, I apologize for being a little bit late. Uh, uh, first of all, you know, congratulations to uh, Temple. They really uh, not very impressed with their, their discipline and their coaching, and uh, uh, also have really uh, uh, done a good job of recruiting. I thought they had some outstanding student athletes in, in both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, defensively, I thought we played well for the first. You know, really three series. We were down 10-0 at halftime, and, and we just had a real difficult time uh, having any success offensively. Uh, I think we only crossed the 50-yard line a few times uh, during the ball game. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to, to Temple and their defense and, you know, and how we're playing right now. Uh, so uh, it was a tough, tough matchup for us, and, and uh, you know, there's some things to were good for us, you know, the playing defensively, uh, you know, playing well early and then some things with the kicking game. But overall, it was, uh, you know, a game that was, uh, you know, got out of hand, you know, really in the, in the end of the third quarter. Uh, this week traveling to Connecticut, uh, you know, I, I think they've had a similar type season as, as us. Uh, been close in a lot of ball games, uh, but have had a difficult time uh, – uh, being able to, to to finish and win, I know we've had that with four or five games ourselves. Uh, you know, so it, it's it's uh, going to be a tremendous challenge going back on the road. Uh, we're we're a little banged up right now, like a lot of teams are at this time of the year. And, uh, but it's uh, going to be a new venue for myself and uh, a lot of the coaches and and players uh, to play in, and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. We'll take questions for Coach Willie Fritz, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. We'll go first to Dan Tatora at wakeupcalldt.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. To uh, to look at the season, like you said, um, you felt like you know UConn's kind of had a similar season to what you've had. What do you attribute it to on on your side? Is it just you know having more time to recruit, bring your guys in? just the uh, the maturation process of some of the guys there. What would you say is kind of the M.O. of Tulane right now as you look to turn this thing around? Well, you know, everything you just said, really, you know, the first thing we got to do is continue to keep changing the culture of the program. And I think we've taken some steps in a positive direction doing that, just attention to detail with our preparation every week, you know, how we do things in the off-season program, how we do things academically, how we do things – in all facets of the program, and uh, then we got to do a great job of developing the guys that are returning for us, you know, and and getting them a little bigger, faster, stronger, uh, increasing their football IQ, and getting them to have a great understanding of what we're doing in all three phases. And then we got to go out and recruit. We, you know, uh, you know, Tulane for many years have been recruiting at uh, at, at a different uh, conference level, and. Uh, you know, from going through the the American Conference this year, I've I've noticed that it's a uh, you know there's a uh, we are closer to the Power Six uh, than we are to the, to the Group of Five. We we uh, you know the athletes are taller. Uh, they're I think have got uh, especially on the at the skill positions, corners, uh, safeties, uh, wide receivers. Uh, so we've got to do a much much better job of recruiting and get those type of athletes in here at Tulane. And coach, when you look at, I mean, the fact that you've won everywhere, you've been able to have success at different programs, just what you see in Tulane, what, what this could be. Do you, you know, have you seen it this year? Have you seen pieces and moments with this program, whether it be from the administration, the university, the athletic department, the players that you have, your coaching staff, what are those things that you're seeing that you're kind of taking and putting aside and going, okay, you know what? I already see that the seeds are being planted here. Well, I really think they are. Uh, you know, there's three things that we're we're selling. Number one is an opportunity to get a world class education. Uh, it's it's hard to to match a two lane degree throughout the country. Uh, second thing we're selling is being able to play in a big time Division One conference. Uh, this is a great conference. There's a lot of very, very competitive teams. You're you're on TV week in and week out, and I think it's something great to sell. And, and uh, luckily, we're in an area where there's a lot of great football players. You know, you talk about the state of Louisiana and our bordering states, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, 
Georgia, Panhandle of Florida, even getting up into Arkansas and Tennessee. There's a lot of great football players in this region of the country. And, you know, and then last but not least, you know, we're selling the opportunity to do all these great things in, you know, the iconic city of New Orleans. You know, so there's a lot of great things to sell. Uh, you know, we've had some good crowds here. We, we've had great support from the administration and the alums. And uh, so we're feeling really, really good about things right now. Obviously, we'd like to have a few more wins, you know, and, and there's some games that the possibility we could have had those uh, those wins this season, but uh, right now just wasn't meant to be, and, and we got to keep building and and, and uh, understanding that this is a process. And lastly, a quick follow up: the city of New Orleans. I went down there for Katrina relief eight months after it happened, so I know the resiliency that I've seen. But what can you say about this city, the resiliency of the city, and the resiliency of Tulane being a part of that city? Well, a lot of great pride. Uh, you know, with, with Tulane graduates, one of the things I've noticed is, uh, you know, only, uh, you know, 12% of our, our freshman class last year was from the state of Louisiana. So we've got people from all over the nation that come here to, to come to school. And a lot of them try to stay here, you know, in their professional career because uh, they've just got such an affinity for, you know, the city of New Orleans and, and want to stay close to Tulane. So, a lot of loyal, loyal uh, alums, and, and uh, Tulane has certainly embraced us as well, uh, embraced us as well as uh, the New Orleans area.